Hola, hola, hola. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. And welcome to my craft corner. I got all my plushies, my planners. I got everything. This is my happy place, my beanie babies, my stickers, my pens. I really need to set up like a little craft corner tour for y'all. She's humble, but she's sweet. I'm absolutely in love with my little craft corner here and my, my Mario cart banana so cute i love him so much my boyfriend bought him for me for christmas and i got my pooh bear y'all this pooh bear has been with me since i was like five years old anyway welcome back how are you all let me know how you all are doing in the comments down below how have you been with your planners have you been keeping up with your planners I'll let your girl know I just wanted to come on here for a little craft corner cheese a little craft corner chatty video and I just wanted to drop a bombshell on y'all. This is something that I've been going back and forth on for a while now. I kept on kind of changing my mind, growing weak y'all. The soul was willing but the flesh was weak situation but I finally feel confident enough to come on here and share this decision with y'all which is in 2023 this year this calendar year I have decided to go on a happy planner shopping ban I know I know I know I know <sighs> I didn't want to do it. I almost didn't do it. And let me get this straight. This is not in any way because I dislike the happy planner. I don't like the happy planner. I'm doing this because I love the happy planner. I love the happy planner way too much for my own good and I need to take a break and calm down for a bit. Ever since I discovered the Happy Planner, it was love at first sight. I really, really like their products. I love their aesthetic and I love how you can find Happy Planner products pretty inexpensively, particularly planners that are out of season, out of style, out of date. And you all know me, when I fall in love, I fall in love hard and I went hard for the Happy Planner. I have so much Happy Planner stuff that it's gonna last to me forever. I probably have more than a hundred sticker books. I have thousands of stickers. I have, I think, more than 80 planners from the Happy Planner. Even if I used 10 planners per year, I would it would take me eight years to finish that amount of planners. And of course, you know, when I buy planners, I don't necessarily buy them to use them as planners. I buy them for the rings, the covers, the dividers, the pages even. For me, planning is definitely an art form and just like a painter or a sculptor buys materials and just buys art materials in general. That's kind of how I approach buying planner supplies. I think this is also coming from the perspective I'm a mixed media artist, I do a lot of collage work, and so for me I can definitely see myself using a lot of product as an artist. That being said, I do want to get through my stash. I definitely do have a lot of Happy Planner stuff, I'm not trying to defend that. Maybe just a little, maybe just a little. <laughs> but I definitely have enough stuff for me to go a year without buying anything. And honestly, I think I could definitely learn a lot from not buying things. But anyways, I do have a lot of stuff and I definitely can go a whole year without buying any Happy Planner things. And I think it's, um, I think it'll be good for me. I think it'll be a good lesson for me to learn. I think it'll be a lesson in restraint, patience, discipline, budgeting and resourcefulness. I'm not scared at all about this planner, happy planner no buy because I just have such a stockpile of goodies that if I ever feel the need that I want something new, I just go into my stash and I'll find a sticker book that I totally forgot I had <laughs> and use that. That's the point where I am right now and it's a good place to be and I think I think I deserve it to myself to take a little break from happy planner. But I do love Happy Planner. I love them. I love them. Love everything about them. But again, it'll do me good to just take a little break, save some coins, and prove it to myself that I have the discipline and the stamina to do a Happy Planner no buy for an entire year. I'm giving myself one exception though, and that is if I find Happy Planner 
items that I want at my local thrift store. I have a Goodwill and just a local thrift store near me that sometimes gets like a happy planner thing here and there. They're really, really cheap, just like three or four dollars. But sometimes I see something there and I want it. And so I'll let myself grab a happy planner thing here and there from a thrift store, but I'm not gonna buy anything um, new either from like a retailer like Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or from the Happy Planner website itself. And this Happy Planner no buy is definitely a Happy Planner specific um, no buy. I mean, I would say like 90% of the planner and crafting stuff that I purchase is from Happy Planner. I don't really purchase things from other brands too much. Here and there I'll purchase something from other smaller businesses, but I'm mostly a happy planner girl, so this no buy is pretty much a planner no buy, a planner and crafty no buy. But I will allow myself to purchase from other small businesses like Cafecito Designs, Simply Gilded. I'm not too worried about those brands though because I just don't purchase a lot from anything besides Happy Planner. But if I ever feel in the mood to get some new crafty goodies, you know, I'll let myself support a small business, especially a Latina owned small business like Cafecito Designs. It's Happy Planner that I'm a little bit more worried about. <laughs> when it comes to spending my money. Anyway, this is gonna be good for me. I think it's gonna be a really good exercise for me. I'm just gonna buckle down and tighten my belt for a year and not buy anything Happy Planner. And honestly, I'm just gonna try to not buy too much stuff when it comes to like arts, crafts, and planner stuff. And not gonna lie, this has been a little bit difficult. It hasn't been as difficult as I thought it was going to be starting off but I was sorely tempted by the Be Happy box that just came out, the Valentine's one with the dogs. You know I'm a dog lover. You know I have two pugs. You know I love all that cutesy stuff and that Be Happy box was just so cute and stunning and I love the bookmark especially, oh my goodness. And I think they released two Be Happy boxes recently, the Valentine's one and something else. But both of those boxes were really cute and I wanted both of them and I I almost folded. I almost gave in to my inner demon, but I, I was strong. I was strong and I persevered and I have not purchased any Happy Planner things since the new year began except for a planner that I found at my local thrift store. I actually have it right here. Let me see if I can pull it up. I found this planner completely new in box it's a big teacher planner <gasps> look at that and it's farmhouse themed and so i saw this and i was like i have to and it was just like four dollars or something but i found this planner at my local thrift store and that's the only like exception to the rule that i'm gonna allow myself this year is if i find happy planner things at my local thrift store then I can get it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little Crafty Corner chat with me. I'm hoping to do more chatty videos this year and just, you know, show up in my little craft corner and talk to y'all about just things going on in my planner babe life. And I hope you enjoy these chatty, like face-to-face -face videos. And thank you so, so much to all of those of you who wished me such like warm wishes of recovery and wished me and sent me all the healing vibes. Like I felt that deep in my soul, I definitely have been feeling a lot better. My surgery was a little bit rough the day of, but I came out of it. I'm okay now. I'm definitely feeling a lot better and I definitely see that it's all uphill from here. I definitely think that all the healing vibes helped me to recover. Like I definitely feel that. So thank you again so much for um, your well wishes. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for spending some time with me here in my craft corner. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed and happy planning. Bye.